NASA, the FAA, and others met the public this week at an aerospace technology fair in Atlantic City. With an air show thundering over the boardwalk, the indoor exhibition offered a look behind the scenes. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Reagan reports. Over the beach, seagulls and terns shared the air with mechanized aerial acrobats. Propeller-driven and jet aircraft came and went in waves, stopping visitors in their tracks. Swooping low over pleasure boats and colorful umbrellas, Air Force pilots showed much more than raw power and speed. One jet seemed to imitate a person taking a leisurely walk along the shore. And while past and present flying machines put on their amazing show, visitors could learn more and catch glimpses of the future indoors. It was October 1st, 1958, when uh, we became the National Aeronautics and Space Administration. So this October 1st will be the official date of the 50th anniversary of NASA. Not one, but two exhibitors, NASA and the FAA, were celebrating 50th anniversaries with an emphasis on the youngest of would-be pilots, engineers, and scientists. At the FAA's technical center near Atlantic City, the mission goes beyond things like airport engineering and airspace management to showing young people a range of aviation careers. And the things that are necessary to get into those fields are basic skills in aviation and in, in the STEM curricula of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The NASA contingent had come from the Dryden Flight Research Center in California, where one plane is becoming a platform for infrared astronomy. Sophia is a 747 SP, a former airliner, and NASA had a 16-foot high hole cut in the rear fuselage of that aircraft, and into that hole has been installed a 17-ton German-built telescope. More typical testing at Dryden is geared towards safety for civilian and military flyers. It could be intelligent flight control systems, or it could be um, instrumentation or it, materials, anything that might want to be tested, we can test those things before they're actually put onto real aircraft. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Atlantic City.